Doug and Shelley, according to several search warrants, Padilla could face charges of fraud, forgery, embezzlement, and money laundering. I talked today to the state auditor about how all of this started. According to search warrants filed Wednesday, in 2013, Harold's grading and trucking <laughs> noticed checks were bouncing because money was going into accounts they weren't familiar with. A state attorney general's office investigation found out those accounts are tied to Demezia Padilla, who did tax work for Harold's before she became secretary of tax and revenue. When we see this, it's known as check skimming. And so you essentially take a little bit out of your client's accounts over time. The court documents explain that alleged skimming totals tens of thousands of dollars over several years. That's about how much Harold's learned it owed in back taxes, which led to another twist in this story in July of 2015. What we essentially caught was the outcome of a cover-up. New Mexico State Auditor Tim Keller says his office received complaints from Padilla's own employees. They accused her of using her position to try and stop that audit on Harold's grading and trucking. According to this search warrant, one employee said they learned Padilla even burned documents they needed for the investigation. It quickly became something bigger than our office uh, could really deal with. So he sent the whistleblower allegations to the governor's office. These are major, major concerns, and they're concerns that, frankly, the governor should have dealt with right away when we raised them in the first place. The AG's office got similar tips and spent the last year and a half making the connections. This morning, Padilla suddenly resigned. Keller says New Mexicans should sit up and pay attention to these allegations. There is probably no greater position of public trust than the Secretary of Tax and Revenue. And if you can't trust that everyone is treated fairly with respect to taxes, that fundamentally eats away at the core of democracy. As for the trucking company, caught in the middle of all of this, we stopped by the Bernalillo business. We called and left messages, but have not heard anything from them tonight. Back to you.